Hi again. So I don't really know why my phone cut me off, but maybe it all worked out for the best because I was actually driving past the North Hollywood Police Station right at that exact same moment and a police uh, car had just pulled down to the driveway. So maybe it saved me from a ticket. I don't know. So what I was talking about was that we had a $50 gift card to the Woodman and we decided, you know what, let's just finally use it. Even though it's not really our style, like it's kind of a, a louder, more boisterous crowd. But we ended up going there and we ordered um, like a big meatball. It's supposed to serve three or four people. So it's a gigantic meatball with ricotta cheese and herbs and, you know, and, and some tomato sauce. It was good. It was good. And then we got like a grilled cheese, a grilled chicken kale salad. So we tried to be healthy. But you know, the other options there were like the Brussels sprouts that you find at every gastropub, which are so tired and which I'm sick of. And a bunch of stuff with cheese in it, like mac and cheese bites. But because I'm um, lactose intolerant, we couldn't really get those. And then Mike had a beer, some sort of light sour beer. He tends to favor the lighter beers. And then I had a glass of the House Cabernet because those were the only wines they offered. I mean, that was this kind of place. They didn't have any wines by the glass by name. The only wines by the glass they had were uh, the House Cab, the House Pinot, and two House Whites. So I was like, well, let's just roll the dice. Let's get the House Cabernet. And it turned out to be such a great wine. It was so good. I was shocked. I took a drink of it and I was like, is it just me? Am I crazy? This wine is really seriously good. And it was such a large pour that it was one glass of wine and it was like poured all the way to the top. So it ended up being like two glasses of wine for $7. So I was so stoked. So I had that and I got totally drunk, like totally drunk because it's been such a long time since I've had wine and right now I'm kind of on the skinnier side and you know I didn't have much in my stomach so I got really silly and really happy and really drunk and but the wine was so good that I had to even ask the waiter the waitress to bring the bottle by afterwards so I could take a look at it and see what it was so I could buy it in the future and it was the Joel Gott G-O-T-T -T, in the 2013 vintage so if you guys ever see that and you like red wine pick it up try it you know, it's not like an A plus wine. It doesn't have like super subtle tones and all that stuff and, you know, rich aromatic nuances, blah, blah, blah. But it is easy to drink and it goes really well with, I would think it would go well with almost any food because, you know, I had it with the salad, it was good. I had it with a meatball, it was good. And I had it by itself and it was great. So, so that was our Friday night and it was fun. And then Saturday, I went to yoga again while well, the boys had baseball practice and then he had a play date over at our house uh one of the teammates two of the teammates came over so boring mom weekend and then sunday we went for a family walk a three mile walk in the morning with the dog and that was nice and then had another play date in the afternoon so another boring child-centered weekend but that's the way it goes you know it was good for me i read a lot i napped a lot i really needed it because I hadn't been hungover in such a long time that I was really just trying to recover from Friday. But uh, let me talk about the makeup I'm wearing. On my face, I'm still doing my usual Milani Conceal and Perfect mixed with the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir. And then on my eyes, I went with the Huda Desert Dusk Palette, which I haven't used in a long time. And it's so nice, you guys. It's really nice. Like I was thinking, you know, I mean, I got it just because all the YouTubers are talking about it. And I was like, oh my God, did I make a mistake? Because you know, it's such like a colorful palette. And I'm like, oh, it's just not that, you know, it's not a one and done. Like you really have to bring in some other shades because there's no light base color and there's no dark black. But except for those two, I mean, it's a really nice palette. I ended up putting, um, I laid down a really neutral transition color that was in the palette. Then I went in with like the silvery sort of platinum shade first on my lid. Then there's a really bright matte 
uh, purple in there called amethyst. And I was like, you know what? I'm feeling kind of crazy because I don't have to be anywhere today necessarily. I mean, if it fails, it fails. And so I'm like, I'm going to go with that amethyst cr uh, shade in my crease, you know, but like really blend it out and do it like a, a nice soft wash of color. And I think it turned out really well. I mean, it kind of looks purpley, but it's not like bam, right in your face purple. So I was really happy about it. And then there's like a red glitter shade in there and I was playing around with it and I tried to put some glitter on my eyelids and I think that was a fail. Like it's kind of on my eyelids right now, but I feel like it's gonna migrate down to the rest of my face later on during the day. But I don't know, I, I really liked how my eyeshadow turned out today. Huda Beauty Desert Dusk, A, A plus. And then for my blush, I was like, well, I kind of want something mauve but I don't want to go super hardcore purple because I want the, the focus to be on the eyes. So I decided to go with Benefit Rockateur, which I have in one of the holiday palettes that got released. I forget which one it was. Um, like the most recent one and with the blue covering and the girls dancing on the front. So Benefit Rockateur. And then for my bronzer, I use the same bronzer that's in that palette and did uh, Hula. So I did Hula for my bronzer and Benefit for my uh, blush. And then I went in again with the Maybelline Rose Gold Highlighter, which I really like. And then my lips, uh, I did the Dose of Colors Stone. And then for my lips, I did some, I'm not sure which name, it, which one I used, but I used some mauve lipstick by ColourPop. So that's it. And I'm at a light and I feel like people might be looking at me talking into my phone. So I'm going to go right now. I'll check in with you guys later. Bye.